The next item in the bundle is the Lynx Pro mic. This mic is a practical studio condenser mic designed for vocals or instruments. It can be connected to most USB audio interfaces, such as the Focusrite Scarlett audio interface we just talked about. And the audio interface has a preamp, and you just connect the mic to the audio interface, and you can use it with other audio interfaces. You also get a mic stand, a pop filter, and a shock mic for the mic. All right, the pop filter is what you see in front of the singer when they're singing or the artist when they're in front of the mic. You see that pop mic, it stops the air from hitting the mic so hard and stops some of the noise that comes from the vocals. So your mic and your recordings are clean. Then it has the shock mount where you would have the mic and it would be protected around the shock mount that keeps the mic from bumping into anything and having a noisy recording. And look, this is not the most expensive mic, but it will get the job done. Here's a suggestion. When starting out, you may not want to go deep into your pockets. I'm just I'm just talking, you know, giving you a little game. You may not want to go deep into your pockets until you start making money from your music. Unless, of course, <laughs> you got it like that. You know, you got money, you want to spend a lot of money on your equipment. Hey, that's that's up to you. But this video is about getting you the best equipment at the best price. All right. At a great price. All of the equipment you need to get started, you know, at a great price. Just because something is inexpensive doesn't mean that it's not worth your use. All right, it doesn't have to be as expensive all the time. Some things that are inexpensive works just as well. Next in the bundle, you'll get the Mackie CR3X Studio monitors. You got to have those monitors so you can listen to what you're doing. All right, they sound clear and crisp, and they also have an accuracy focus sound. All right, they have an accuracy focus sound. Both the speakers measure roughly the size is 8 by one uh, by five by five by seven by one inches. Okay. So that's the regular size of the studio monitors. All right. They will fit well in your studio. They're not too big, not too small. They, they will get the job done. They're black with an eggshell finish covering, you know, pretty hot, man. They're not going to look all goofy. <laughs> you know, they're not going to look goofy. They're going to look nice sitting on your desktop. All right. Where your table, your tabletop. Well, you can check out the gear in the descriptions below. I shared the direct link in the descriptions below. 